What's up bros? Today I've got an older Nerf blaster that we never reviewed and it is the Nerf Zombie Strike Side Strike. And what's cool is this blaster comes with a holster and so that's something a little bit different. I got this on Amazon for about 15 bucks so it was a pretty good deal I hope and uh, we'll find out once we unbox it and try it out. So let's open it up. In the packaging you get the blaster you get a holster and you get six zombie strike darts. And zombie strike darts are basically nerf elite darts, but they're all green, as you can see here. All right, so let's check out the blaster. You have attack rail here. You have a front sight here. You have a rear sight here. It's a front loading blaster. So you load your dart here and then it's got space for storing two darts at the bottom here. You've got the Zombie Strike logo on this side, and basically you have a big slide on the top, as you can see like that. And last, you have obviously the trigger here. So let's check out the holster. It's a plastic holster. It's got storage for four darts, two on each side. I'm not sure what you'd call this on the back, but it's basically the part where you slide your belt through so you can, you know, attach this to your belt. On the front, you have the Nerf Zombie Strike logo again. And basically, it just kind of fits in there. It doesn't really snap in, but it fits in pretty snug. If you shake it, you've got some play there. So I'm not sure if you're actually running around with this, how secure the blaster is going to be in the holster. All right, so this is a very easy blaster to use. As I mentioned before, it's a front loading blaster. So you just put the blaster in the barrel like that. And then here are the dart storage spots on the bottom there. So your front looks like that. Then you pull the slide back and forth to prime it and then aim and fire. That's pretty good. I'm gonna guess this is gonna have probably 70 FPS. We'll see once we check it out. On the holster, as I previously mentioned, you do have dart storage here. So the darts slide in like that. And I think they'll be snug enough where they won't fall out. So that's pretty cool. And if this holster works pretty good, I think this is a really nice setup if you want to have a secondary. Since you have it on your holster, it will be, you know, out of the way. So let's go ahead and test out the FPS and see if I'm correct. 69.7, 72 72.6, 71.8, 73.4, 72.8, and 70.8. And that's pretty close to where I thought it would be. Um, so it's about 71 FPS, which is, you know, like I said, 70. So it's basically the power of an InStrike Elite Blaster. And for a pistol, especially a secondary, I think that's okay. Let's go ahead and field test this. First, we're gonna be shooting the sticky airsoft zombie target. Jackson. I think that the Nerf side strike is better than most Nerf guns because I feel like it's a little bit more accurate and stronger. Next, I performed a long distance accuracy test by shooting a Jackson over there that's about 50 feet away. Next, I performed a long distance range test by shooting at that garage over there that's about 60 feet away. All right, bros, so here are my final thoughts of this blaster. 
First of all, I was impressed with the holster. As you can see, I tested it out and the blaster stayed in the holster pretty good. I mean, better than pretty good actually because it didn't fall out. Now, when I was doing the range testing and the long distance accuracy testing, it was pretty windy outside. I think this would have the range of about your average in-strike elite blaster. So it was hitting 60 feet and then sometimes it would go way over 60 feet. So you could probably get on a non-windy day somewhere between 60 and 80 feet out of this blaster. And when I was trying to hit Jackson at 50 feet, I couldn't hit him, but you know, I think that's because of the wind. Um, the wind, it was just blowing the darts all over the place. For the in-house accuracy, it was, I would say, average. It's about what's expected for an in-strike elite type blaster. Overall, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's worth 15 bucks because you get this. So if you're looking for a secondary with a holster, then I recommend it. All right, guys, it's shout out time. The first shout out goes to Andy Vick. The next shout out goes to Eric Delizo. The next shout out goes to Matteo Peck. The next shout out goes to Noob Galaxy 101 Forever Boy. The next shout out goes to AHC Crafts. The next shout out goes to SBSP TLH South Park Lego Ninjago and Monkey Kid Fanatic 2004. The next shout out goes to Dark. The next shout out goes to Stabbed Box Films. The next shout out goes to Frankie Garcia. The next shout out goes to David Kovar. The next shout out goes to Mohammed Abdullah. The next shout out goes to Brittany Pitts. The next shout out goes to Gabriel's World. The next shout out goes to Ronaldo Flores. The next shout out goes to Sunny Salanga. The next shout out goes to Thomas Trajano 18. The next shout out goes to Crazy Eyes 20103. The next shout out goes to Alkafon Zing. The next shout out goes to File Y Mayo Nang. The next shout out goes to AJ Reaper. The next shout out goes to Don Bluff. The next shout out goes to Craden Sasser. The next shout out goes to Yonaya Adoko. The next shout out goes to Lil Broomstick. The next shout out goes to Sanyika A. Tapon. The next shout out goes to Julius Belen. The next shout out goes to Mark Kaguimbo. Hey bros, if you want a shout out, then go to the community tab on our channel and go to the most recent post and type, I want a shout out. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell. Be happy, peace out.